In this video, I'm going to walk through the multi-board geology kit from OIH Designs. We offer the multi-board in three different sizes. This is our standard full size. Then we have our half size, which holds a letter-sized sheet of paper folded in half. And we have our new oversized version, which holds a 12 by 14 sheet of paper. Um, it is very large. We made one of these for a customer who said that this is what fit his needs. And so now we are offering it more generally if it suits other people's needs as well. Which size you want will depend on your personal preference, of course. Um, the half size is better if you plan to do a lot of hiking, um, if you want to be able to store it in a small hiking backpack or if you just want something that's generally lighter weight it is lighter weight the trade-off of course is that if you have a letter size map then you need to fold it in half you can't see the full map the full size you know by contrast you can see a full letter sized map you can put a full size notebook in here which I'll show later on um, but of course it doesn't fit in smaller hiking backpacks and although it will fit in normal backpacks and it is for any given size a bit heavier. We also offer different materials. This one is of course aluminum. It's a one millimeter thick panel which is a nice trade-off between stiffness and weight. It has a little bit of give but not much and it's nice and durable. The only downside to aluminum is that it's not transparent. If you need something transparent we offer polycarb and acrylic. Polycarb is virtually indestructible. Uh, we have videos where I'm you know, hitting on it with a hammer and that dents it if you hit it hard enough, but it doesn't break. However, it's an expensive material to work and we also have acrylic, which may fracture if dropped onto a hard object, but is much less expensive. I'm going to do the walkthrough with the aluminum version though. So we have our standard configuration here. We have a elastic strap here and here, and that lets you put a map on the front, like so. And if you want to give your map a level of basic protection, um, as well as use a dry erase marker on it, we have this clear plastic sheet that we include, and you can put your map under that, like so. And that provides, you know, a level of protection. It won't get scuffed. Um, it won't get wet if it's just a light rain outside. For heavy rain, you would probably want to be using waterproof paper. Um, uh, yes. And moving on to the inside, we have on our left a binder pocket. It's held in with an elastic strap, and that means that it's easy to flip open. You can add more accessories onto this side here. Um, it's a standard three ring binder accessory. I can show that. So here we have a standard pin pouch, and to put this in, I'm going to take the binder pocket out, put this down, and then put the binder pocket back in. It's just these little T-bars, which, there we go, that sh should give a nice view. There we go. So now we have a pin pouch so you could hold a protractor or extra pins or whatever you need there. And then you have your binder pocket here. We include some pieces of hook and loop fastener with the binder pocket. 
that's so you can put one set of it on the back here and then another in here and hold the binder pocket down if you need to. Then moving on, we have a pin or acid bottle holder here and here. You can see it looks like an acid bottle. Stick it right there. Pull this little, this little ring there. Pull that tight. And then we will add a pin in here. And you pull this tight. And these can hold virtually any size pin or pencil by how they're designed. And then we have our clipboard clip here, as well as another elastic strap with two non-slip buttons at the bottom. So you can take a map, put it in there if you need to. The clipboard clip can hold a decent amount of paper, so if you have a pamphlet you need to carry around, that can go in there too. And then we have this cord right here. That's to hold a small notebook, such as a standard right in the rain geology notebook. And that slides onto your cord just like that. And that is the standard configuration. All these accessories I've shown you, the straps and the cord and everything, they all come standard with the geology kit. And the only accessory I haven't shown you yet is our emergency protractor, which is a thin sheet uh, or a thin outline of plastic that mounts onto the elastic straps here. And what this does is it lets you find any angle on a map or draw an angle if you're out doing mapping without having to actually have a protractor with you. So it goes on just like that. And now on this map, I'm just going to use a, you need a straight edge, so I'm going to use a piece of elastic. And it has these little hooks, or not so much hooks, but little places to put the elastic in here, here, and here. And there are numbers engraved on the outside here that tell you what the angle is. So you find the line that's pointing, well, it lines up with your elastic when, uh, when you do it. And so this is 20 degrees east of north, 40 degrees east of north, 60 degrees east of north, etc. For west of north, you put it in the opposite side, like so. And then we also have one up here, if you're finding angles like this. So we have, this is 30 degrees down, 20 degrees down, 60 degrees down, etc. And it's not designed to be better than having a protractor with you, but it is designed to be better than no protractor. Now there are different ways to configure your map board. In our polycarb version, I've taken the binder pocket out, it's right here, and instead I just have the two panels facing each other so we can have you know, our description of map units on this side. And have a sheet showing cross sections on this side, because it's the best thing I grabbed. Slide that under there. And you know, without a notebook in it, nice and slim. Yep. And you can also, I can show you in our half size here, instead of having the double elastic bands on the front and the clipboard on the ins clipboard clip on the inside. I put the clipboard clip on the outside here and the double elastic on the inside. And really there you can set it up however you like. There are lots of options and the default way might not be the way that you best like. Now we also offer a single board. It's a single panel multi-board and this is great 
for if you really want to save weight and just want the simplest map board you can have, this is it. It has two pen or pencil or acid bottle holders on it. It can have straps to hold your notebook down and then elastic corners on the other side to hold your map down. And to use it, you know, you just take your elastic, now you can easily write in it, move your elastic back over, you can even do it so you save your spot, just like that. And on the other side you have your map. So the single board is a good option if you're looking for the lightest weight. Uh, yeah, Lightest weight is also the lowest cost product. I'll also briefly mention our clipboard. Our clipboard has a different method of holding the paper down. It has these polycarb, a uh, non-slip button on a polycarbonate arm. It's a little tricky to see there. Um, it rotates up and down, so it rotates down like that. If you don't need it, and then you rotate these back up, and they provide an excellent degree of keeping your paper in place. We have a video where I have a shop vac pointing at it and just to demonstrate how, how good of a job it does. We don't offer these little swivel pieces in the, on the multi-board because they are a bit too tall and they don't work well with the binding. Um, however, if you think you might be interested in that, it's a great product. Now the last thing I'll show is when you order a multi-board you have the option of buying the notebook straps and that's to hold a full-size notebook. Uh, it works the same way as the straps do on the single board. So to install those, so a bit of working room here, we will take everything off the right side, use a screwdriver to remove the clipboard clip. Okay, come on. And then take no, take this off. So now we have just the panel. Also remove the notebook. Seems unlikely people would carry two notebooks around. Although you could, you don't have the parts. So to put the notebook straps on, you just slide the notebook strap through the top here and you take your T-bone fluorescent acrylic piece and you slide that through the back. We'll do the same thing at the bottom. Elastic straps are nice and tight. Small bit of rustling to get them in place. There we go. So now you can put a full-size notebook in here. Like so. And it doesn't matter whether the non-slip part is facing up or down. Here I have it facing up. The notebook is largely held in right at the top and bottom, and that's where the non-slip is on either side. So it just does not make a difference. You just slide your notebook in. Make sure it goes in properly. There we go. It's a bit stiff. That's by design. And then we take our elastic strap. I would take, normally take the buttons off of this, but I have an identical buttonless one right here. You just anchor that down like that, and that keeps your notebook closed. And then you have room there so you can have it like that and open it up 
and that would keep your paper down while you write on it in the field, close it, bring your elastic back around like that, and that would keep it closed as you're walking around. There we go. That's the Geology Multiboard Kit from OIH Designs. I hope you'll email any questions if you have them uh, our contact at our contact info. Um, thank you.